Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you 20 plus Dollar Tree Halloween DIYs. I am calling this Boo Town. A lot of this is to do with ghosts. I will be doing more videos here in the new near future to give you more insight on how to do every single one of these. But until then, enjoy. All right, so the first thing we are going to build is a stand. I'm taking some of these party bowls. I added some rice there on the bottom. You can do rocks or whatever. So they're not easily tipped over. I suggest you use some hot glue and some other glue to hold these together. You can do as tall or as short as you want. Then I'm taking a party tray and just putting that on top. Since I'm using this for Halloween, believe it or not, I spray painted this back in April of this year and I'm just now getting around finishing it, but I just used some black. I cut out some shapes of some ghosts just out of paper. I'm using this white marker from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to go ahead and start drawing on my ghost using some regular white paint and just painting it in. You can add as many ghosts as you want. Or you could use even some of this all-purpose caulk from the Dollar Tree and just do the outline. So if you want a puffy ghost, well, there you go. You can fill the whole thing in if you want. And you can always use the rub-on transfers as well. But I think that turned out pretty cool. Now I'm just going to use some of this moss from the Dollar Tree and don't even bother using Mod Podge because that did absolutely nothing. So if you really want it to stick, I suggest you use regular glue or hot glue and look at all that dust. Whew! So that's what it looks like. Okay, we'll come back to that. So these are some other, other items I will be using from the Dollar Tree. So I'm taking these napkins, which I did purchase at Walmart for 98 cents. I painted my house, the trim there all black. I laid the house on top of the napkin and I'm gonna go ahead and trace it with a marker so I know exactly where I need to cut it. Once you get it cut out, place it in there and just try to trim a little bit more off if you need to. Taking some Mod Podge and just painting that on there. And there you go. You can always paint the background too all black, which I do on another one, but I wanted some of that color to come through. Now I'm just taking some popsicle sticks, the bigger ones from the Dollar Tree, and just painted them black. I trimmed the edges with some scissors and... I keep the tips to use for the graveyard, so don't throw those away. Once you get to a close enough fit, you can stick them right in there, do it in like sideways, and then push them up, and you won't have to use any glue. And that's what it looks like. And I use some sandpaper just to sand off the edges to make it look more rustic. Now, if you can't find any of these houses, don't panic. You can use stuff like this from the Dollar Tree and just dissect it and do whatever you want. Okay, now we're going to make these wired haunted trees. And these are the items that I will be using all from the Dollar Tree except the hot glue. Oh, and pliers. All right, so you can buy this. Uh, this uh, wire stuff at the Dollar Tree right now. And this is like heavy duty wire. And the little booger didn't want to come out, but I got it. That is going to be our base of the tree. These are some of the other wire from the Dollar Tree that I'll just be mixing it all up. And yes, I did cut my fingers a lot making these trees. So I'm just taking the stiffer wire don't worry, I'll come back into the frame here in a second. I'm still learning. You're going to start wrapping on the bottom and make sure you don't tw twist it all the way around. Just you leave a little bit on the end there and I will show you why. 
and just start wrapping. That's all you do. You can do all one color, you do multiple colors. I'm going to be using all the colors. Very, very time consuming. Once you got them all done, this is what they'll look like. You can have them bent or whatever. So you can kind of see the roots of the tree. I'll show you why. But first, I'm going to take a drill and just drill one little hole right into my carpet. No biggie. And now we're going to take some of the fairy lights from the Dollar Tree. Oh, and I added these little wood balls on the bottom, but you don't have to if you don't want to. But you're going to thread your fairy lights right through there. And now you're going to see your tree. That's where it's going to go. So you're going to thread that right through the hole. So make sure you drill your hole um, big enough. Poke that through. I added a little bit of super glue on the bottom so it would not uh, come apart. Now we're going to make some ghosts out of these fairy lights. Um, FYI, do not use a high temp gun and you will see why I learned. See all that smoke? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do not use a high uh, temp so you're going to bend the wire. Again, I will do a separate video to show you more in depth on how to do this because it is very hard to describe in this short of time. But you'll see how I'm trying to bend these wires so the light is standing up because that is going to be the head of our ghost. And again, I'm using the hot glue gun because I didn't learn the first time, but I switch after this one. I'm roasting my ghost. And the glue was, well, what, you were, what you're supposed to do is put the glue on top and gradually let it go down so it makes like a ghost looking thing. But I'm just using this lava to melt my ghosts. So again, do not use a high temp. So I got my other gun out. <laughs> look at all that glue. It shouldn't look like that. But again, I will do a separate video. The rest of the lights, you're going to wrap it around your tree, just like that. And now I'm going to take my glue gun and just put a little dot and like kind of drag the glue around so it looks kind of like web. Cobweb, that is. Again, this is optional, but it's going to be a spooky forest, so why not add some cobwebs? And this glue gun I'm using, I use, I got at Walmart. Okay, now I'm going to make little ghosts to put in the tree. So I do a little dot and then I drag the glue down very slowly. I like using uh, this, just a piece of rubber or something to um, put these ghosts on. Once they cool down, I'll have, uh, have you stick them on your tree. Now I'm adding some eyes and mouth to my poor melted ghosts. I'm going to add some of the moss around the piece of wood there. Put that off to the side. Get yourself one of these from the Dollar Tree in the toy department. You're going to take it apart and these make great shelves and benches. I painted some of them black like that. Took some sandpaper and roughed up the edges just to make it look more aged. You can always cut the little feet off if you want to. Taken two of these little crate thingy maneuvers from the Dollar Tree. Painted one orange, one black. Distressed it with some paint. You can maybe do a shelf like that or you can make a tent. But we're going to prop it up just like that, and we're going to add some shelves. Just like that. Now that one I have the legs pointing down. You can always put the legs 
fitting down into the crease, then you won't see any of the legs. Look at that. It's like a floating shelf. Voila! There you go. A lot of fun stuff you can do with those. Okay, put that off to the side. We are moving on, and we're going to be just using the, these three products from the Dollar Tree to make hundreds, almost a thousand <laughs> baby boos. Here we go. Okay, so this is what I'm using from the Dollar Tree. I had this on hand, but I didn't really care how they turned out. But you can put those on the tip of your cock gun, or that little thingy maneuver, and do different things shapes and sizes of ghosts. I'm using this plastic lid. You can use that from the Dollar Tree, anything to put this stuff on. So you cut the tip and squeeze, dab, pull up. That's it. And yes, I did this close to a thousand times. I'm crazy. Yes, I do know that. And this is why this DIY has taken me months. Now, I'm going to show you if you add a tip, you need to hold it with your finger. But I'm going to show you the different shapes and sizes that you can make your ghosts. Oh, that one just exploded on me. You will get some air in your gun. Well, not really your gun. I ended up using this cutting mat from the Dollar Tree. I think this one works so much better. And I even used this. <laughs> and I just scraped them all off. There's a bunch of our booze. Yep, just taking some black paint and the little dabbing tool there. I don't know what you want to call it, but you get it at the Dollar Tree. And I have used this thing so much. One of the best things I ever bought at the Dollar Tree. And I also found that one at some clearance store or whatever. Now you're just going to start adding your eyes and your mouth. One down, 999 more to go. Yeah. You can do different colors. You can paint these different colors. I did some orange. I did some black ones. But these are really fun because not one ghost is the same. Kind of like snowflakes. So I would like to introduce you to my baby Boo family here. As you can see, I did some blue eyes, red eyes. I have black ones. I have orange ones. Um, yeah, and I even have more than this that I just did not fit on the boards. Do I have a problem? Maybe. But look how cute they are. I even made some teeny, teeny, tiny. I made big chunky ones, I did skinny ones, I did flat ones, some of them have a tail. They're fun. Now my hands are strong. And yes, look at my mess. This was a train wreck, especially keeping three dogs away from it all. But, are you ready to see everything put together? Here you go. Look how cute the display is. Again, I will do more videos to give you more in depth on how I made a lot of this with my mushrooms and those clay ghosts. So that's all from the Dollar Tree. Those are just some wood branches from the backyard. Added some of that netting from the Dollar Tree. There's some more of my ghosts. You can see them there in the tree with the bats from the Dollar Tree. All the lights, the wires, it's all from the Dollar Tree. I'll do um, close-ups for each one and describe more to you. But I wanted to have you see it somewhat in the dark with the lights. And again, about 99% of all these items that you're looking at are all from the Dollar Tree. The wood stumps, the netting, the apples, the pumpkins, the wood chests, which I did make a full video on how to make that. I will include that in my other ones that I show you with the trees. 
We got the Booze Are Us. The haunted house is back there. We got the body shop with all the body parts. There's all the bottle of booze. So, yeah, my little boot town. Now let's do some close-ups. So here we have the wooden chest from the Dollar Tree. Again, I will be doing a separate video on this with a few others. But I think that turned out super cute. And there's another one over here. Those are the rub-on transfers. Over here is just a little round piece of wood from the Dollar Tree. And I put some of their moss. I ripped apart a bunch of their little skeletons they have there. You get a pack of five, I do believe. Use some netting, some branches from the backyard to drape it over. Cut some of the bats off the toothpicks. And yeah. That's about it on that one. Now here we have the Boon Town. On the little shelves there, I added some of the booze. This one I just cut part of the napkin and just mod podge that on the middle there. Again, used that wood toy, painted them to add some more booze. Over here, I made a little graveyard, a square piece of wood from the Dollar Tree. I put some hot glue on there, painted it all black, and those are the tips of the popsicle sticks. And my ripped up skeletons. Bunch of the uh, glass bottles from the Dollar Tree. Those are some of the Jenga pieces that I painted and just bottled up a lot of booze. Again, those took months, months to do. Here we have the bottle of booze. Put some there on top with a little chain. Those are the teeny tiny bottles with the teeny tiny booze. Those are actually really hard to make. The tiny ones. I don't think that turned out cute. Over here we have the body shop, so I just ripped up a bunch of the skeletons, colored in some of the eyes, and put them on the shelf, which I used, of course, a popsicle stick. More of the napkins. Here we have the baby booze. I was going to do like a nursery kind of thing, but I was running out of time. So I thought I would just display a bunch of the little ones here on the shelves. See how they're all different? Over here we have Booze Are Us. Painted one of the skeletons, put some of the moss on top, and just displayed some more little duber dabber stuff from the Dollar Tree in there. Did some crooked shelves. Up you go. Over here is another one. I painted some of the wood, uh, I don't know, you got the wood dice looking things. I painted those, added all these little jars, more parts of the skeleton, more of my little ghosts that I made out of clay. These are the wood boo signs that you get at the Dollar Tree. So I'm going to show you how I use some of these. This one I painted all white. I did the trim with the black. I made my own little flowers with the little dot tool thing and used the rub-on transfers. Since I wanted that to prop up on the table, I just added three of the uh, Jenga pieces. This one I just painted all black. Again, made my own flowers and used some of the rub-on transfers. That one can hang on the wall. I did this orange one, again with the rub-on transfers, and I decided to use white for the trim. And then we have the all-purple one with a hundred boos on there. Look at them, Ma. They're all so happy. Happy, happy, joy, joy, happy, happy. 
So those are my boo signs. Coming back to the wood haunted house from the Dollar Tree, I just uh, cut out some paper and I taped it on the back there, just like that. And then I left the door open because I had a little ghost on there. Then we have another one over here. Again, use the rub-on transfers. I got all my ghosts that I made out of clay in the windows. And I use popsicle sticks for the shelves. This is the Dollar Tree, uh, like a Barbie house, whatever. I just spray painted it. Took the windows out, painted those orange. I distressed it inside with white. And I have, again, my little clay ghost in the door. And again, I'll do a video on that. Over here, I took some of the big wood dice from the Dollar Tree, or the, I guess the blocks, just painted boo on there. The, now, this house right here is from Target in the playground area, which I hauled a couple weeks ago, maybe. Here is our table that we made at the very beginning. This is what it looks like all set up. Again, everything from the Dollar Tree. There's more of my trees. You can see the ghost in there. With the lights. Made little signs. There's a little fence back there. There's the mushrooms I painted from the Dollar Tree. So if you wanted the, just like a small display, this is an easy way to do it. <laughs> Again, my little sign that says Boo Town. My little graveyard. There's my teeny tiny tree. And then here's more of a close-up. You can do stuff around the edges there, but I'm just like running on low fuel right now, so I did not bother with it. That's a boo sign from the Dollar Tree that I painted a gray color. So, yeah, I put ghost, two ghosts on each bowl. And that is that. So those are all of my Halloween DIYs that I use. About 99% of Dollar Tree items. I would love to hear your guys' input if you like these. What one was your favorite? Feel free to share this. If you decide to use any of these ideas on your channel, I would love for you to tag me um, so I can check it out to see what you did. So I'm hoping I can give you lots and lots of fun ideas to do a lot of these um, crafts with your friends, family, kids, or whatever. So as always, I want to say thank you for always taking the time out of your day to stop and watch my video. So I hope you all have a wonderful, beautiful, safe Thursday, and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys. Keep smiling. <laughs>